Hey, hey everybody. everybody. <laughs> We're back. You've been um, out of the country for a long time. A while. A little and, while. And you're back. Damn. And this is our first filming, mm -hmm. first video since you've returned. Yeah. Since, since been you've gone. been gone. <laughs> um, and it's been like six weeks. It's been a while. And we're Actually, excited. We're jacked up. Has it been six weeks since we filmed? Or even Probably. Longer? Maybe yeah. longer. Wow. Well, I'm just amazed at the our ability to have pre-filmed enough oh, yeah. that we never missed a day the whole time you were gone up until now. But if this video doesn't come out like <laughs> right away in the next week... We are out. We're done. This yeah, we know we're officially out of video mm -hmm. like as of right now. We did pretty good then. Yeah, no, that's like six weeks at three a week is eighteen videos. That's a wow. shit ton of videos. That's a lot. In the hopper there. And I think we did that in like two sessions. We did. And then we threw some of the old Dr. Don videos in right. there too. Yeah, so. we had a couple in the in the log. Yeah, we beefed it up. Captain's log. But we are here to unbox literally. Literally. Literally unbox and then uncork. So this is from PJ Fan 173. Yes. You uh, got that right. I'm not exactly sure what's in here. I we we have an idea, but we're yeah. not 100% sure. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't show my address and stuff, but it doesn't matter. You pretty much give it to everybody yeah. anyway. Anyway, so I'm going to let you do the honors. Uh, that knife is brand new, so it's very sharp. Okay. Be careful. Don't hurt myself. Yeah. So right. cut towards yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so instantly do what you're not supposed to do with a knife. Oh, it looks like uh, I can split it right down the middle. Bring that towards myself as well. Yeah. Oh, this is great. And, uh, this is one of the smoothest unboxings we've had yet. Oh, well, it's not until over. We get, <laughs> until we get into it. <laughs> now, he mentioned there was there was two things. Okay, well. That could be in here. Uh, there's, at least there's a lot of this. Packing peanuts. Popcorn stuff. I don't know if so, can see. I'm going to actually just pull it sure. right here. Oh, sure. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> And, and we, just, we've derailed. Already derailed. I'm going to kind of dig in instead. Sure. That's These a nice box, though. We'll keep that. Kind of going. It's okay. 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 Well, you can grab that. something in here. Nice. Okay. Don't know what that is yet. Oh, and another. Another bottle like of something. Wow. wow. Bottle of something. Wow. Cool. Good wrap job, too. Yeah. Okay. Is that everything? <laughs> yeah. Great. Any notes? Not that I can see. You're, you're always looking for secret messages. Yeah. In the box. Perhaps yeah, there's so a secret far. decodable message somewhere. Good tape. Good ratio of tape to <laughs> bubble wrap. <laughs> it's really good, actually. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to get rid of this one. That's what we What do we got going here? This is exciting. What's the, unboxing, what's that? the unboxing, the uh, unbottling. Yeah. Oh, I think I know. Uh -huh. I think I'm knowing what this is. Something that we haven't really been able to get around here. Yeah. Wow. There we cool. go. We got the four roses. This is basically the new. This is the new version of the old yellow label. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly, and it's it's a little less of a yellow label. Yeah, it's a little more beigey, tan. Beige label. Um, but so this would run us, I just saw it today in the store, that's $41 before tax. Wow. So this is like, around here, that's a $47 bottle. And so. PJ Fan 173 is from, uh, I believe, Alberta. So he got a tax free. So he got it cheaper, anyways. Thank you. Which is awesome. That's amazing. Uh, that's great. Let's see what's in the little. Mm -hmm. What's in the little package? Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. I don't know. This is a nice sharp knife. Mm, what is this? I think I know whose face that is. <laughs> oh no. But I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? What is that? Is that not Wayne Gretzky? That face? looks like Wayne Gretzky. Strathcona Spirits. What the heck? It's gotta be Gretzky, right? That looks like Gretzky. Strathcona Spirits Experimental Grain Grain Wet Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Grain wet grain, gra grain wet sky. <laughs> yeah. Grain wet sky. Double barreled single cask spirit. Bottle number 665. 44.5% alcohol. Um, one year 
old Edmonton wheat whiskey. One year old. One year old Edmonton aged aged six months in Virginia American white oak quarter casks, then six months in X Rye Hogshead from South Tennessee. Wow. And then it says caramel berry, spice, and hop. Should we um is that a separate video? Probably a separate video. Probably a separate video, but Look that, that is I really, 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 really cool. I gotta see if it's grainy. Grain wet sky. <laughs> Which you'd think that Gretzky would be after them for that now yeah, that, uh, that he has a whiskey. Now yeah. that he has his own whiskey. Yeah. Wh whiskey? whiskey. <laughs> Wayne Wh Wits Grain Gretzky. Wits okay. Anyway, we'll, let's do a video separate on this. Grain one. Wits. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'm going to let you just do all the, the Look unboxings. Look forward to the Grain Wet Sky video. Okay. Oh, we need to pause and do the uh, song. Okay, yeah. Here's this one's for you, PJ175. Three, three. 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 PJ fan. Fuck yeah! Come and the same day, yeah. PJ fan. Fuck yeah! Okay, and uh, that I mean, song. that song's just great every time. Oh, yeah. who, who gets bored of that one? Um, Besides, probably most people. Here we go. <laughs> great pop. Oh, on it. great pop. Mm. Okay, we have not had this. Um, I had that when I was in Scotland because I wanted a change of pace. But it was the yeah, yellow label, Scotland. so it's slightly different. Yeah, well, we had our own yellow label back in the day. A oh, did we? Yeah, yeah okay. but we haven't had this. No, 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 beige no. No, we haven't had the beige label. Okay. I wonder what it likes to be called. Yeah, the beige label. Because they don't the, have. Because nothing wants to be called the like the Four Roses Bourbon. Yeah, it just seems called. anticlimactic. Yeah. 40% alcohol. Because Four Roses puts out some insanely delicious products. Oh, absolutely. Like the single barrel and stuff like that. I yeah. like small bat. Everything's good. Um, let's see. What's it say on here? Paul Jones Jr., the founder of Four Roses Bourbon, became smitten by a beautiful southern belle. He sent a proposal to her, and she replied that if her answer were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her gown to the upcoming ground grand ball. Wow. When she showed up the night the ball when she showed up the night of the ball in her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four red roses. Wow. He later named his bourbon Four Roses as a symbol of That's his devout passion for the lovely bell. That's true love right there. There it is. What what happened to courtship like that, you know? That's right. It doesn't happen. What if she showed up without the four roses? What would it be called now? Yeah. It would be called like rejection <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> Black rejection. <laughs> okay. Knows it. Nice color on it, really. Yeah, sure. I mean it is um Kentucky straight bourbon. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of age, we know that. It's got a nice mild, uh, sweet and spicy nose to it. Yeah, I'd say that's a great description for it. Nothing overpowering. I mean, 40%. You don't really expect it to. No, and it just has kind of like a nice nice um, vanilla brown sugar kind of notes. and For sure, a little, little molasses And like you said, a little bit of spice in there and mm -hmm. sweetness. It's, uh, I'd say like... It smells really like a solid bourbon. Yeah, not bad at all. All right. Okay, let's, let's taste the stuff. Oh. Oh, I like that. It's spicier on the palate than I was expecting. But you know what? It has a... Um, a it's good got one. the spice, yeah, yeah. But it's got uh, like almost pepper spice. Yeah. Um, but it has a sweet um, vanilla mellowness to it as mm -hmm. well. And that's, that spice like tapers off pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And actually after like the second sip now, the pepper is a background thing. Mm -hmm. You know? It could be the name of the the bourbon, but like I detect slight floral okay. in there as well. But maybe it's the name messing with my head. I don't know. I really like it right away. A little creme brulee ish, like yeah. sugar, sugar. Nice, but it has just um, uh, a nice balance to it, mm -hmm. and it's pretty. It's pretty light at forty percent. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's just. Very it's drinkable. Nice. It's totally very good. drinkable. Nothing wrong with this stuff. And this is quite it's got a high crushability factor. For sure. And I think there's a lot of people out there that kind of like turn their nose up at the uh 
base model. The base model. <laughs> the no the LX the version. No frills, no gimmicks. But uh, this this gets you where you where you need to go. And you know what? But for for a base model, um, at fifty bucks essentially, it better be good. Yeah, that's true. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, cause you can get a really nice, you know, um, Canadian whiskey around here that's very drinkable and crushable for twenty five bucks. True. So true. this has to be good at fifty. Well, and I mean things like uh, just regular Knob Creek. Uh, regular Knob they're, Creek they're though like is pretty the, close. Yeah. Like this about sixty dollar range. So it's like not Knob Creek. Maybe like fifty five or something. With tax fifty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's uh, and that's an exceptional. Whiskey. And that's a big boomer. Yeah, yeah. Like the you know, that's going to be 50% alcohol you're getting for five more bucks. Mm-hmm. So that's a good question. Does it compete at that level? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But judging it on its own merits, so far, so good. Like Brian, like Brian Adams' last album. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> um, actually, there's a little bit, you know what? A little bit of char note on it now. It's like an opening up a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean... I, I'm liking the it. The nose right is away. really good. The nose is really, it is good. really good. It's one of those things like people out there, if you don't do it, I highly, highly suggest you have your first impressions and if they're good, it usually stays good and yeah. usually sticks with you. However, as soon as you try this next to a couple of other bourbons in its weight class, mm-hmm. True. Um, it really kind of shows you where it sits. So, so we'll have to actually... To be a, determined. Yeah, for sure. We're going to spend some time on it. We'll probably do a full review when the bottle's like down here. And then we'll... <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of a, something for later. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll probably do a full review when it's down here. And yeah. we'll have really gotten to know it. Yeah, absolutely. And it'll be almost gone. It'll be like three years from now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, see you guys in three years with this one. Yeah. yeah. If you really don't need to see a review on this, go to another channel. <laughs> Don't. No, never, never go to another channel. They're terrible. They're yeah. all very bad channels. <laughs> <laughs> They're our biggest inspiration. <laughs> um, okay, but uh, if you want to see Grain Wet Sky Whiskey, <laughs> subscribe now because that'll probably be the next video coming up. For sure. Anyway, cheersies. Welcome all right. back. All right, thank you. Happy to be drinking whiskey with you again. Good times. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe, click Happy like. Happy to be drinking with you. Oh, yeah. All right. Cheersies. Granny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, scotch, bourbon and rye, if they like a bottle they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.